Hi, myself Tarun Rijwani. I'm the founder of Rudrabots Meditech and we do 3D printing for medical applications. We are incubated at PDU IIC and the idea behind what we are doing today got generated when I was working in 3D printing industry and I came across the fact that more than 138 million patients worldwide have to face some sort of medical injuries due to errors. And if we look at India, close to 5.1 million patients every year have to face some sort of medical injuries due to errors in the process. And now when we dig deeper into the, uh, this issue, we realize that this could be addressed with 3D printing. So what we can do is we can uh, take the data of CT scans and then we can process that data to develop a replica of the patient's disease specific organ. And the treatment procedure could be first done on this 3D printed replica organs instead of directly operating on the patient. So this will increase the chances of success. But when we started, we realized that the conventional 3D printing processes are not actually appropriate for this application because with the conventional processes, we are not able to achieve the variable properties uh, similar to a human organ, specifically elasticity. So then we came up with a unique solution, uh, which we named as variable wavelength stereolithography. Now this process actually allows us to mimic the properties similar to a human organ. That means the elasticity in the replica model that we generated will be very similar to a human organ in actual. So with this, uh, doctors can first operate on these replica organs and they can validate their procedure. Once they are sure about the process, the treatment process could be done on the patient. So this increases the chances of success in, ca in complicated cases. Moreover, these models could be also used for training applications. And uh, so far, uh, we have done six trials in uh, cardiology and three trials in orthopedic applications. And uh, yeah, we are looking forward on uh, solving more such complicated issues in the medical area with 3D printing. So my tip to all those who are onto the journey of entrepreneurship is that if you are in the very beginning stage, you might face a lot of resistance in starting your startup uh, from your own self. Now this resistance comes because of the various questions in your mind such as what if things do not work well? What if some things go wrong? What if I'm not able to raise the specific amount of funding which is required for your success? So all these questions actually are create sort of friction in starting your journey. So I would suggest to in the, in the initial stage, you should have courage, you should be courageous and start your journey without thinking much. As you will move ahead, uh, problems will start getting solved and you will find your way. That's all. Thank you. So yes, uh, as far as significant co uh, collaborations are concerned, we have collaborated uh, with our vendors, which is US based company, they manufacture our raw material. Uh, that is one of the significant collaboration we have. Other than that, on the marketing side or advisory side, we have collaborated with uh, Dr. Arvind Singh. He's one of the well known senior pediatric uh, cardiologist. So yeah, these are the two significant collaborations we have as of now. And we are looking forward to much more collaborations. Yeah, so compared to other companies, our rates are particularly lower uh, and our lead time is also less. The reason behind this is that the technologies that we are using are in-house developed and our raw material is also in-house developed. So that gives us a competitive edge among our competitors in the market.